So where are we at? So this is Niagara Falls. Travis Scott's back. Travis Scott's back. Officer Gordon, and he's fighting against Joker. This is when like the, they're doing that whole parade downtown, and they end up trying to shoot the mayor. Joker does. And Officer Gordon takes the bullet for him because he wants them to think that he's dead. So this is a fight between Gordon and, and Joker, which is why it's Travis Scott and 21 Savage. And then it's getting ominous. And it's like, oh, this is the introduction. Like, the villain's coming in. Crib, same size as the Galleria. <laughs> See, it's not about the words. It's like how the instrumentation relates to it all. But there's some hidden lyricism there. Oh, for sure, for sure. And, like, what I think happened, because also what we know is, like, Metro Boomin can get a verse out of out of an artist better than any other. Like, uh, a future verse on a DJ Khaled album, totally different than a future verse on a Metro Boomin album. So that's why I think he told 21 Savage and Nudie and these villains, like, yo, talk about shooting, talk about, talk about the violent part of this life that you come from. Future Don Tolliver, talk about the coping of coming from this life that you come from. And then at the end of this album, Morgan Freeman has a part where he says, like, heroes and villains, unlike their endings, often come from almost identical beginnings. So, like, you guys start in the same place, this trap in Atlanta, and it's hard, and it sucks, and it's shitty. There's the option of, like, turning into that life as the villains do in this, 21 Savage and and everything like that, and and participating in the gang life. Or there's the trying to escape from it, which is the lean, which Future used to make his music. Which is the pretty much, other than sports, it's the biggest way out of the trap for these guys. It's like going in and it's making music out of it. And Future's gotten shit for like promoting drug use and shit like that. So he's also kind of a villain. And 21 Savage is like kind of a hero because he's also like, he's very competent. He's very coherent when he's having these conversations on the podcast and stuff. So the whole point of the album is just relating to both of those mechanisms and reaction to this life that they're coming from. Is how I interpret it. <laughs> so this is like Travis Scott, 21 Savage fighting. And then he's talking about the villain. So it's like, oh, I guess 21 Savage won that fight scene. Because Commissioner Gordon just died. So that's like the feeling. That's the that's this scene. That's what happened in this part of the movie. Villains are made, not born. So now this song, this to me, this is the song that put all the pieces together. This next one come up. Because this is... 21 Savage, he's like, yeah, I, just, I won this shit. Now I'm going to set these two fairies off, and I'm going to make sure that like one of them has to kill the other one. That's how the movie ends. There's a boat of prisoners and a boat of citizens. He says, at midnight, both of your ships are going to explode. I'm going to kill all of you, unless one boat decides to kill the other. And Joker's intent is to be like, see, people act like they're not villains, but if I tell them they're going to die, they're going to blow up that other boat. And so that's this whole the whole first half of the song, when 21 Savage is rapping, that's what I see going on and happening, but then what happens in the movie? Neither one of them blows the other person up. Yeah, it shows that like huma- humanity pushed against the greater good is going to do good. It's going to do good. And in this, for 21 Savage on this album, the point is like villains are made, not born. Like So 21 Savage at his core was a good person, but through his life had to go through and end up as a villain because now he sounds like a villain, sounds like a villain. If you listen to the lyrics of that part, which we'll let it play through, that's 21 Savage's friend dying and him basically like being unable to like fathom it. That's why he has to kill. Like my boy died, I gotta answer. So it's just building to the villain origin. And again, it's basically being like, oh see, no, like 21 Savage turned into this villain because it was his response to what I think of it is like young nudie dying. Like the person who we had like earlier in the album and obviously, like, they work off each other really well. So if you think of it like, oh, so he died. And so he said, like, oh, and when he's rapping with Young Nudie, he's like, I don't care about bitches. I don't care about this or that. And the third, then on Creepin', we realize, like, oh, he actually had his heart broken by a girl. And then in this one, he's lost his friend. So you get taken on this, like, journey of how he ended up being a villain because nobody is just inherently a villain and nobody's inherently a hero. That's the whole point of the album.